and listen um you have to allow me to buy stuff online because i want to buy stuff online <laughs> guys and welcome back to my channel Gary welcome back welcome back welcome back e welcome back I know you like that welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back to my channel guys I hope you're doing well as you can see today I look very much French like we oui, we oui, bonjour monsieur and all of that <laughs> but um yeah this I'm just going to campus and I just started to pull this up and it's just like very cold outside so it's like I have to be warm because I'm living my hot girl winter like I'm just I'm blurring up in all of that so yeah I just want to keep warm so that's why I'm wearing all of these warm clothes right now so um, I wanted to talk about AliExpress because um, I ordered some stuff on AliExpress a while back and like I was just so stressed for the most part and I just feel like I want to give my own feedback to the public on how I experience AliExpress and if I recommend it or not. So I'm going to start off with like how I got to know about AliExpress. I watch some other YouTube channels like K Republic. She has a channel. You can go check out her videos. They're very awesome. She's really cool. So she did a video on AliExpress explaining like what you need to know and like everything. So um, I mostly got positive a feedback from her on like how to use AliExpress and how I was experience with it and stuff like that so I was like okay let me go and buy stuff and I kind of knew some of the stuff I wanted and some of them are just like oh there's this click let's purchase so um I wanted a tripod because at the time I was filming with my phone right now I'm filming with a camera a Fujifilm camera but at the time I was filming with my phone so I wanted a tripod and then I don't know how I ended up buying, buying the watch. I bought the watch as well. I bought layered necklaces. Um, and then the last thing I got was these shades. I was kind of dragged by someone on someone's channel. I don't want to talk about it. But I was kind of dragged and I felt like I needed to buy the shades. So I ended up buying them on AliExpress. Right now, I received two other things that I bought. So as I said, I bought a tripod. I bought it for like $2. And then I had to pay shipping of... 18 cents which is not a lot like also um on the app or on the website as well you can like change the the currency to be in the currency of your country so like i changed it to be rent to see how much actually it cost me because like before i didn't know and i used to like see like the two dollars go to my calculator times there by 14 rand i'm not sure it's a 14 rand but times by 14 rand because you know the rand out here is dropping and the dollar to rent exchange rate like it's, it's a mess so time is about 14 rand and um i would see the price that forms a south african um, perspective and then um i actually found out that they actually can change the currency and then i did that so i could see actually how much i was paying and then i bought the watch for one dollar 99 cents i got the necklace for one dollar 16 cents and i got the shades for two dollar 54 cents like everything is very cheap like it's very very cheap that's one thing i like about aliexpress i don't have to spend so much money but i'm just like a bit worthy of the quality of the stuff i got because i got my tripod i'm gonna unbox it right now with the watch but like i was feeling it inside and it feels like very plastic like it doesn't feel like it will hold something like i feel like if i put it on there it will just like fall because it's not it, it can't handle the weight so i don't know exactly how i'm gonna feel about it um so like i was saying you can either have the app or use the website but a lot of people recommend the app because you can track your things much easier apparently they can give you a message if your stuff like has it's in the post office i didn't get a message i got a note from the post office so i need to keep, um, collect my stuff yeah what else can you do on the app oh the prices are different from the website on the app you get the stuff like maybe 20 rand cheaper than you would get them on the website so i do recommend getting the app as well one thing i hated about the app is that the tracking you can't really see exactly what's happening but it allows you to have a different tracking as well you can use it via google or something um it's like a link there at the bottom there's a link at the bottom where you can track your stuff and then you just copy 
the code that you're given and then you use it on that link and it shows you exactly where your stuff is in terms of like being in the country or in transit or still like in that other country it doesn't say if it's at the post office you have to wait to get the note from the post office to be like okay my stuff is at the post office i really i was just so stressed in terms of the tracking because i didn't know exactly where my stuff was so most of the time i was stressed thinking where is my stuff i paid for these things whether if they're lost like most of the part i was just stressed i don't want to lie i even went to twitter and asked who i was at dollars at a that's hashtag yeah i asked they like um so like what happens when you order an aliexpress how do you know where your stuff is where do they go to what not the people like oh they go to the post office and then you have to pay a certain amount of money to be able to take them with you so um the rate before was 25 rand but this year they changed it to 28 rand so i got two things so i end up paying 56 rand to get my stuff and i'm like what why do i have to pay extra money to get the stuff i already paid for i'm just it's daylight robbery daylight robbery i was just pissed by that but i feel like if they let me know beforehand i would not probably bought the stuff on aliexpress because now i'm paying extra money to get those things probably if i combine with the money i paid it on aliexpress then probably i could have gotten it elsewhere with the same price you get what i'm saying so like i feel like beforehand i should tell people that okay this is what happens when you're on an aliexpress and you would end up having to pay extra money in order to get your stuff but that happened the payment wasn't really hard i did not save my card on the app i don't i don't i don't like the idea of saving my bank details on any app whatsoever i think the only thing i saved it on is uber eats yeah uber and uber eats but um on aliexpress i was like nah i i, I don't trust it that i didn't trust it that much at the time so like i didn't feel like i should keep my stuff there um but i did put in my banking details and because like my bank does allow me to do online transactions i was able to purchase online um the payment was really nice but the thing that just stressed me the most was like knowing where the stuff are so like i end up um going to the site oh, where did i go i think you know i watched another video and the lady explained that if you don't know where your stuff is you have to contact the seller and then i contacted the sellers of all the items i bought and they're like be patient babes like fell up hands and be patient why are you just dressing like that stop stressing you'll get your stuff and some of them told me that my stuff has been in the country for 25 days i think it was the watch or the travel the watch i think it was the watch the seller told me my stuff has been in the country for 25 days probably is like in delivery right now so i should just be patient um but i'm not also sure if i was talking to the seller themselves or to a robot because aliexpress doesn't have I, th I don't think it has um, what you, a call center. I'm not sure, but I tried getting their contacts and I couldn't quite get them. So I think you only contact a robot on the, the site, which tells you everything that you need to know. So I think I was in contact with a robot and not an actual person because initially that what that's what happened when I was like, what was I asking initially? I forgot what I asked initially, but that's a response I got from a robot. And then this other time I said, am I actually talking to the seller or this robot? I didn't know. The way I'm saying robot. How do you guys say robot? Robot. Hey, robot. Hey, I'm saying it in my in my um in my accent. So yeah, robot. I got my stuff today, so I'm gonna do an unboxing. I feel like I've been talking too much. Ooh, I'm even running out of breath. But I'm gonna do an unboxing of the watch and the tripod. I've never seen these things like live, like here, yeah, like literally just in the packs. As you can see them yeah i'm gonna just do an unboxing and see how they actually look like um one thing i know is that if you don't like the things then you can either request a refund or request a refund and return the things so if i don't like any of them i can just request the refund and they pay me and i still get to keep the stuff because like imagine it returning the stuff like that's a lot of work so i rather like request just a refund for my money because i'm not satisfied with what i got i've also forgot to mention that before buying your things you have to go to the review section so on the website they have the review section but it doesn't detail it specifically to people of your country because on the app you can even look like oh south african people like it literally shows a flag on top there and you can see like oh the south african people that um bought stuff here and this is the review on it one thing i've noticed is that if you live in europe you get your stuff much faster than if you're in south africa because 
obviously like it comes from China so Europe is quite close people, the countries in Europe are, are quite close to China so you tend to get a lot of people from Europe like um, commenting and say oh I just got my stuff in a week and you're like oh I'm gonna get my stuff in a week and they know honey they elsewhere so like you have to look at um, in terms of like South African comments and reviews as well and be able to know exactly what you are getting so I'm gonna open this right here uh, I hope I don't cut anything. Ooh, okay. I love the packaging. I'm glad they did this. I didn't just like throw it as it is. Squeeze this out. Oh, oh, this is nice. I was actually kind of pissed like when I felt the inside. I was like, ah, I'm gonna get a refund. I don't like it. Wait, I have to cut this. Oh, this is where you put the phone. Yeah, I did see this part. Yeah, I'm really glad I have it. I can just, if I want to film using my phone, I can just use this right here to, I can even adjust it, I think. It does go up and down. Yeah, it does go up. It goes up, but it goes down. Or does it stay when your phone is in? Ooh, what if it smashes your phone? The ghetto. And then I have this tripod here. Oh, it's, it's very light. Cause I was gonna use it for my ca for the camera as well, but I'm not sure if it like will hold the camera. And it's very short. How do you, you know, guys? I don't know a lot of stuff about technology. Like, uh, how do you adjust it to go up? Oh, okay. I do this. How do you do it? Oh my god, I'm the ghetto. I don't know how I adjust this thing, but I think I'm taking it out here. Yeah, I was definitely taking it out. Oh, I can do this and then I guess it depends on where actually I can put it. But yeah, this is the tripod. It was $2 and I had to pay 18 cents for shipping. So yeah, I had to pay 18 rent for sh 18 cents for shipping and then I paid the post office 28 rent to get it out. Remember I paid 56 in total, but I paid um 28 rent for only it. So I'm, I'm really glad, like, let me see. I'm really glad of it, I'm not, you know, I'm not upset, but I feel like it's, it's too light. Like, it can just hold the phone. This is cute. It can hold the phone, but I don't think it can hold the camera. It's really light. I'm really scared of like holding the camera a bit and then the camera falling because it's quite heavy. So we are happy with this. Come through Aliexpress, come through. We are happy with that. And then I'm going to unbox the watch, which I'm really excited about. Cause I had a watch and then it broke and I felt like getting a new watch. So I got it on AliExpress. Ooh. So excited for this. Oh, so cute. The packaging as well, like in this bubbly things. I love like punching them. I don't know if you guys love doing that. I used to do it like my dad used to buy cupboards because he's like a carpenter. So like he used to buy um cupboards and then they'll come just ripping and I'm like, every day I'd be there like, wah, 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 wah. So um I do love the fact that it came in that packaging. See the watch came in this small plastic thing as well so that it's secure and it's nice. I wonder if it works. Ooh, I hope it works. So it came with this and then they wrap something here. Ooh, the lighting is not that great. They wrap something there to be able to like hold it from not working the entire time so the event it doesn't go out. I'm gonna click it here to see if it works. <gasps> yeah, very good. It's so cute. I love the colors as well. There was plenty of other colors. They were like pink ones black ones and stuff but i ordered this one but it's very light actually i thought it'd be a bit darker because i didn't want anything that was like standing out i just wanted something simple something cute something i can just put on every day and just be out and about i'm not sure about the straps if like they will last long because they just do seem to be quite quite like um small and very um flexible no um <laughs> They're quite soft, yes, they're quite soft. So I'm not sure if they're gonna last for long. Let me put it on and see how it looks. Mm. But I am going to fix my other watch. I think that's the watch I'm gonna wear every day. And then if I just wanna switch it up, I'll switch it up with this one. It's very cute. Oh, come through. It looks good in my hand also. It's very cute. Oh, I love it. And it's small and it's cute. Oh my God, guys, I'm so happy. 
no i am happy like i was so stressed actually i have to adjust it because it's one o'clock and it's like two four right now so like the ghetto but i have to adjust it but it's really really nice so like i said the seller oh no i didn't say this part i said it in my head um <laughs> so when i bought this watch like they showed that it was gonna come out with a bracelet and then i went to see the reviews and stuff like that and the seller was like um no you can't come with a bracelet because you guys are paying like a dollar or two dollars yeah it was two dollars for this and like that's too much for that's too little for it to come out with a bracelet so but then it was like false advertising because he said it's gonna come out of a like literally on the picture it shows the watch and the bracelet in this little compact compact box but then when you receive it it's only the watch but i'm not upset because i already saw that i wasn't gonna receive the bracelet if i didn't see those reviews where people were like ah i thought it was gonna come out of the bracelet and then so i was like yeah 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 i'll probably be pissed and like go and like open a dispute and get my coin back but because i knew what i was getting i'm fine with it there's some like something hanging out here though but i feel like you can cut it out it's not too much yeah there's some thread hanging out here but i feel like i can just cut it it's not a really big issue it would have been a big issue if it would have been a big issue if this these two things were not okay or the watch was not working or like just something seemed a bit ghetto but everything looks fine i'm happy with my orders actually i'm really really happy like they're cute come free and express but i'm not sure like the one thing i want to buy from aliexpress now is a wig other than that i'm not sure if i'm gonna buy anything else because i was just too stressed about everything from aliexpress so i don't think i'm gonna purchase anything other than a wig that's the last thing i'm gonna purchase from aliexpress but i'm really happy with my items and yeah guys thank you so much for watching i hope this was helpful for you if you want to purchase things from aliexpress i hope you got some insight on what to do and yeah i hope you're not <laughs> you don't get end up being stressed like me because i was stressed um and also don't be scared to purchase things online i was scared i never purchased things online but then i got the hang of it and now i'm getting things that i would have not gotten anywhere else in south africa so i'm really happy and aliexpress is quite cheap and it's nice and yeah why not buy from it like experience it for yourself because your experience might be different from mine so don't take my all of, like my word for it and like oh you're gonna be stressed and stuff like that i was stressed because i i was just like i paid for this where are these things you know i was just yeah a mess um but thank you guys for watching i hope you liked this video do not forget to click that like button if you're new here subscribe so you can see more videos from me and guys thank you so much from the bottom of my heart love you bye